Are you ready? Ready. All right, let's go. Kevin here, top one financial advisor. And best-selling author. We are here to talk about the stock market. Today, the Fed did not raise interest rates. In this video, we need to explain what that means for you, your money, your savings account, and everything in between. Now, as you know, for the last, what, year at least, year and some change at this point, the Federal Reserve, that is our central bank, has been increasing interest rates at an alarming pace. Interest rates are higher than what they've been over the last 20 years, which has had some impacts on the stock market. Your our savings account is paying above 3%, which is nice right about now. We had an I-bond craze. Those are inflation protected bonds where everybody was talking about it last year when it was paying like 9.62%. Well, this time the Fed said, look, we think things are okay, which is what I've been saying for a while now. Have I not said that we might not even see a recession? Have I not said that unemployment is low and inflation has been falling and we're trending in the right direction? It's why you subscribe, it's why you like, it's why you comment. Because I've said all this stuff, and yesterday I said as well, there was a better than 90% chance that the Fed could pause. And that's exactly what they did. The Fed sat, sat, sat back and said, look, things are okay, we're going to pause for now. That does not mean that we will not see further interest rate increases the rest of 2023. There is no guarantee. We need to see what next month's inflation number is going to be, so next month's unemployment is going to be, and they're going to make a decision from there. Right now, we are stuck in terms of interest rates, and what we're really trying to see is whether or not unemployment is going to stay steady and if inflation continues to fall without them pushing the needle any further, which would be good. So what is going to happen? If that is to occur, what you're getting paid in your savings rate right now, that is going to stay the same. Everything should stay the status quo. And the expectation is that next year, rates are going to be cut in 2024. That is an expectation at this point in time. Things can and will likely change between now and then, but we have said really since the beginning of this year that it is likely that rates are going to be cut in 2024. That is going to have an impact. So there are two things you should be doing right now. Number one is plan for 2024 because if you haven't paid attention to this investing game, it's really about planning today for tomorrow. Okay, that's, that's what investing is, is all about. The same reason why I bought NVIDIA back in 2021, parts of 2022, I kept buying shares of Apple, shares of, of Google back in 2022 and been dollar cost averaging this entire time because I am thinking what is going to happen in 24, 25, 26, so on and so forth. So what normally happens when interest rates are cut, if they are cut at all? If interest rates are cut, and this is still a big if, that is the, the other half of, of investing is you're basing a lot on what if, what if Apple still survives, what if they continue producing iPhones, so on and so forth. But in either case, what we're trying to do is if interest rates increase, or I'm sorry, decrease in 2024, then what stocks tend to, to do well? Tech stocks tend to do well, and usually uh, smaller tech companies that had to borrow a lot of money, their costs are gonna come down, they're gonna look a lot more profitable. Those are companies that you may want to pay attention to. Now, I'm not telling you to go ahead and invest in those now. What I am telling you to do is pull together a list and start to look and see what's out there and what, what could start to make sense. If you're starting to see a stock that's trending in the right direction, then that might be something you wanna hop onto. What we also know is, Every single year, there's a trend, okay? We don't always know what that trend is gonna be in advance, but I would say maybe seven out of 10 times is usually a tech trend, if you've paid attention over the last like five or six years. At one point, it was streaming services and streaming companies. Every company, or subscription services, every company was coming out with a subscription service, everybody would buy those stocks significantly. It's something that made Netflix a uh, top stock of the decade. That's when you started to see Apple start to go more to a subscription model from their iPhone services. They started to sell Apple health programs. They started to sell the iCloud. They started to go into streaming. That's where everybody was going. Streaming, subscription service, so on and so forth. Then it was stay at home stocks. Then it was crypto and crypto adjacent stuff. And now this time is AI. All of those have been tech related. Okay, so there is going to be, in my view, I'm telling you right now in June of 2023, there's likely going to be a different trend in 2024. And it's going to have to do something with lower interest rates spurring on growth for some of these companies. So just pay attention to it. If I knew exactly what it was, I would tell you right now, but I don't. 
okay? So what I'm telling you to do is to make a list, narrow it down, and start to sift those things out because if you can get ahead of it and start investing now, you're going to be set up in 2024 and beyond. The exact same way that people were investing in NVIDIA in 2021, 2020, and even 2022 when things were terrible, those are the ones who are set up and looking real nice right about now. So that's your tip. Okay, I'm telling you right now, 2023, get ready for 24. That's what you need to be thinking about. And that's what you should always be thinking about a year, a decade in advance. That's what investing is about. So all that to, to wrap everything up. There's also a second point. That point is gone. Uh, but as we are talking about this, again, interest rates are going to stay stable for now. There's no guarantee that they're going to raise rates again, but there's no guarantee that they are not going to raise rates again. It really depends on how the economy moves from this point forward. And we're going to hear from them yet again next month. Now, from the stock market perspective, um, we'll see. I think the market was up by the end of the day. I think the market is going to continue just trending in, in the same direction that it has. Because nothing's happened, I don't see anything that's, that's going to derail the way the market is moving. To be honest with you, you never really see anything that's going to derail the market until it does. Because I didn't see Russia and Ukraine yes, last year. And there we are. So you do, you know, you can take what you can take out of that. Um, as always, Index funds are always going to be a place to invest. We've talked a lot about AI. That's that's going to be something that's solid. I think, too, what the most important thing that you should continue to pay attention to, and this is not necessarily interest rate specific, is always take a look at who that, that main player is. Right now, it's NVIDIA. But don't forget about those secondary players that whoever's in second and third place that may also do quite well. An example of this that we had talked about inside our members only was Broadcom, A-V-G-O. There's the ticker symbol there. They're also in the AI space. They're also in technology space. Nobody is talking about them in the exact same way that they are about NVIDIA and Meta and others, but it's doing quite well. I could also say the same thing about Alphabet, but obviously people know and have heard of that company and are already hip to how well they have done this year and beyond. But don't don't forget that. Like, yes, you can add NVIDIA if you want. You can say it's an AI bubble. I've said both. Um, but always say look here's number one the biggest player in the space be like who is two three four and five and see how those stack up against each other and that's another way that you can look at the stock market as well but right now it's a holding pattern um your savings account again is not going to change your credit card rate that's likely not going to change but those have been trending up obviously uh, other moves that you should make really if i'll say this if you are looking to borrow money let's say you're looking to buy a house looking to buy a car there are two ways you can play this you can if you have if you feel like you have to buy something now this would be the time to do it because you don't know if they're going to raise rates in the future meaning next month the month after that and the end of 2023 so if you have to have it now so you have to buy a car which i do um i would try and get it now before they increase rates again now the expectation is that they're not going to cut rates into 2024 so if if that is the case and i know i can wait that I'm going to wait. So if I'm somebody on the housing market, and I know for a fact that I don't need to buy a house tomorrow. My lease is not up until 2024. That I will continue saving aggressively and wait until that interest rate uh, cut happens and then jump into the market. It's going to give you more time to save. And it's also going to save you more money if interest rates are cut. So that's how I would play. If you got to get it now, this window over the next, I would say 30 to 45 days will be the time because if they increase, again, these are big ifs, if they increase, it's going to get more expensive. And next year, um, if they cut, you can kind of wait out that time and then jump into whatever it is you're looking to jump into next year. But it gives you the advantage of hopefully there's more supply in the housing market, but gives you more time to save between now and then. So that is how I would look at it. All right. That is it for me today. I will talk to y'all tomorrow. If you have any topics, thoughts, companies that you want me to cover, feel free to put that in the comment section below. All right. Talk to you tomorrow.